Hi guys, this is Just with a quick message before we get started. Right now, I'm offering a two question reading. All you have to do is click the link below. No hassle, no fuss. Click that link, make your quick payment, and immediately you'll be scheduled for your reading. And that's it. If you're interested, you know what to do. Click that link below. Yeah, and we'll set something up real soon. Otherwise, on with your reading. Take care, guys. Hi, Cancer. This is Just with your December 1st to the 15th, 2017 reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So, Cancer, it looks like, and I've never said this, I don't think, to a Cancer before. Um, in the Cancer readings, <laughs> a Cancer before, but you guys know what I'm saying. Uh, it looks like some of you overdid it over the holiday season or just having a night out or one night only type of thing. Um, but it has changed the course of your life. It's something you've done that some of you now are reaping the benefit or you're going to reap what you sow. So there is some form of issue there. Now, I do see that some of you may have overindulged i'm uh, speaking to those of you who may have an addiction I issue an issue with addiction and there and you may have fallen off the wagon is what i see because a night of fun has led to now days and weeks of pain feeling very disappointed with yourself that you know you've fallen off the wagon that sort of thing and it looks like if you if it was contractually set up where i need to stay sober because i'm on probation i you know i'm on you know probation of any sort um you know, or if I'm found out that I have to, you know, someone reports me that sort of thing, then I'm going to lose something because that's what it looks like. Now, you guys fill in the dots of what that losing of something is, but it looks like whatever happened, whatever you did, it got reported quickly. Like before your eye could finish blinking, someone saw you and told. Okay. And I feel like some of you, there may have, they may be a loss or at the very least a reprimand in some area of your life okay uh and it even may have come on the hills of in in the moment like you've had that moment you've made a bad choice you didn't know that people were watching and then it got reported someone you know you may have tried to you know think you may have thought that okay i dodged that bullet but then you get caught okay unexpectedly you're kind of going to get caught this i'm seeing it at the workplace so it doesn't necessarily have to mean that it's you because it's the way it's also looking is that you could be relishing in having reported someone if you and i do find and i do see this a lot in the cancer spread that if you're a manager if you're a supervisor you run your own business and you have employees there may be something that has come become clear to you and you're calling someone out and then or information coming to you really quickly and then you have to act on it. You know, you have to let someone go. You have to reprimand someone. Um, you have to detain someone. Something to, to that extent is what I'm seeing very strongly here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I see that it's it's some form of karma that's happening. It's like karma balancing itself. So that's what I'm seeing here. Uh, so if it's not happening to you it's definitely happening around you you may see that someone got caught with a hand in a cookie jar at work you know um, resulting in them getting let go resulted in them getting suspended that sort of thing reprimanded and um it could have happened during you know it's gonna it could possibly happen during a christmas party it could happen during a holiday party that sort of thing could have happened during thanksgiving there's been some, there's some issues that someone called someone out on it things traveled quickly and there's been some needing to right some wrongs in the moment like bam 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 is what it looks like to me now as it relates to um as it relates to monies for the first two weeks of december it looks like some of you guys the real focus is dealing with whatever issue you have with a particular person or circumstance i don't i mean you guys are working really hard and as a result for those of you obviously that are working um there's this sense of like what you do comes back to you is what i'm getting this seems to me to be a very karmic time for um cancers so with that being said i feel that you guys need to really stay on the up and up about everything Okay, as long as you're staying on the up and up about everything, I think everything will be fine with you. I mean, we do have um, 
Saturn still squaring you guys. Okay, so right. I think that's a square with you and you and Sagittarius. It's not the best energy. I think it's a square. Um, no, it's, I'm sorry. Wait, Cancer. Cancer Leo. Virgo, Libra. No, Libra squares, you guys. Um, but I think this Saturn energy is kind of is funky towards you guys too, I believe. But I do know Uranus is at those last degrees and Aries and that squares you. So again, wherever Aries is in your chart, yeah, you want to make sure you're doing things really ethically correct because I do see things changing like you could blink and bam something changed that you didn't expect and it's not going to be good for some of you and others of you again if you've been kind of crossing your t's dotting your eyes and doing everything right this will be your time of reprieve and you have the blessings that you know you're not even expecting to get so i see blessings and lessons that may be your tagline if i could from remember now um, also, there's going to be, or there has been for some of you, again, someone calling someone out in the midst of having a good time. There is this like conflict is what I'm seeing. And it could be at the workplace. It could be around someone's um, job. I see some type of legal issue is what I'm seeing here. As we get into the second week of December, there's going to be a decision that you need to make. OK, there may be again, if you're looking for work, those of you looking for work and I've been telling everyone this, there is and you would think it wouldn't show so much like immediate energy, things like happening like that. And it may be because, again, I don't know. Don't quote me. I'm not an astrologer, but I don't know if Uranus is going direct now in Aries, but at the least degree, the, the, the lowest, the lower degrees, it seems like it's coming with a vengeance and Saturn and all of that. So. Uh, that being said, I do see like just like turn of events, turn of events, even with Mercury about to be retrograde in the month of December with you guys that's looking for jobs. It looks like if you have been looking for work and you think, you know, I've done a really good job. I've, I've sold myself really well. You know, I've I've, you know, done everything I could possibly do to make sure I get this job. You may be hearing from them really quickly in a couple. I don't feel like it's just going to be one job. It's going to be like a couple of opportunities coming your way. And you have to be very careful here. This There is a, 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 a message here. You've got to be careful because I feel like there could be almost three. You may want two. There's going to be at least two. But there could be as much as three, even more for some of you, okay? But there will be several opportunities for you. But you have to be careful because one of them, is going to be a good place for you to be and another one may make you feel like when the hell am I going to get out of here this wasn't the best decision for me you know and for all of you it will be different for those of you that are looking for work so do your due diligence you know really take your time and make your decision as best as you possibly can to find out if this is going to be the right place for you because I kind of do get that there will be that in a, in a decision making, it could go really right or it could go really wrong. That's just what I'm getting. Now, as it relates to um, love, okay? So as it relates to love, I see that some of you have been... Now, I'm going to go because I have to go straight to those of you who've recently broken up or have broken up with someone, not with somebody. You may be relishing in someone else's pain, someone else's worry, someone else's demise their sadness that sort of thing okay um and yeah i do it's like a it's like a relish to some extent like you're relishing in the fact that you know perhaps this person is possibly feeling the kind of pain that they put you through okay and i feel that it could be someone that you've married someone that you've been married to um in the past uh, you were going to marry that person. There was definitely a fallout that you may have felt like this person was really dirty and did you completely wrong. And there's been some kind of information message. Like if you if you found an opportunity to stick it to them, it it happened immediately. OK, and once it happened to them, I feel like they confronted you or you could have reported them is what I'm seeing here. Like you found out something, you reported them um, to get back at them and now they're confronting you is what I'm seeing here. 
this could have something to do with a child so if you know that this person needed to stay clean and sober in order to keep a visitation rights with their children you may have witnessed that that's not the case that sort of thing is what i'm kind of seeing here uh, and there's going to be a decision made around that again i have to say if that is the case for any of you make sure you're doing things as ethically correct as possible because what goes around will be coming back around for you guys this is very karmic very karmic time and i've been telling a lot of people that and then I, I feel that it has a lot to do with the fact that we do have saturn again i'm not an astrologer i'm not not but we have saturn and, and uranus at those you know um low degree so about to come out of those signs so it's a lot of like chickens coming home to roost is what it seems like to me so i would say again cancer be very careful with that uh now others of you I feel that if you are single and you're going out and you've gotten over someone and you're, you know, trying to do, you know, just trying to move on with your life, you may be getting a lot of attention, a lot of attention. And they may be a little, a couple of people that you're entertaining or several people you're trying to entertain. Um, and you may feel completely perplexed because there may be a lot of people like social media people people you're meeting when you're out with your girlfriend just people coming they're on you like the plague like they're just all over you can't get them you can't beat them off with a stick i feel like there's two for my cat for my cancer ladies again these are this is for singles these are for those of you that are single there's gonna be two that you're gonna have to kind of you're really gonna be considering like you know it's two guys that you really like and um you have, they're completely different people. And you'll be weighing your option as to, you know, who you want and what, what do you want out of that relationship with the two of them and who's going to be best for you, that sort of thing, okay? Um, others of you that's in a relationship, one-to-one -one relationships, I feel that your mate could be going through something. Yeah, I feel like your mate could be going through something and I don't feel like you guys really are aware to the to the grave extent there may be some mental health issues to some extent. There may be, again, they could be dependent on something. They could be, you know, have had recently lost someone in their life. I know that that has been a theme for cancers for a little while, that there's been that loss either from someone you know personally uh, or someone you love knows. So there could still be that going on where there's some, some form of loss it doesn't have to be someone but it could be a situation or something that has happened and i feel like that has created some form of like conflict <clears throat> excuse me in your relationship and some of you may have decided to go with friends and family and co-workers to kind of just get just give yourself a break from all of the drama in your relationship but that's been met with conflict because your mate may call you out you know it may show up when you're out with your friends maybe calling you like crazy wanting to know where you are and why aren't you here and all of that stuff kind of like just going crazy and i feel that um there is <clears throat> i feel like if if they continue in this way you may be contemplating <clears throat> excuse me in the next three months of like you know is this what you want to continue to have because you may be dealing with a very controlling person i get that this person is extremely controlling and every month it gets harder and harder for you to be able to justify why you're still in this relationship and and again second week you may be weighing your options of like you know do i stay in this or do i you know you know go out and just leave this alone completely and and ultimately get my happiness because I feel like some of you are really weighing that option of like you really want to be free you really kind of want to just engage and this is for all this is for cancer men as well um and it could have came off again off of the hills of just arguing out of the blue like something that you probably felt wasn't even serious turned serious like out of nowhere you were happy and then all of a sudden they're sad and then you're like you know what i'm not gonna pay you any attention i'm just gonna go and hang out with my friends or family i'm gonna go to you know the festivities or whatever and then there's this blowout now you guys are kind of on the outs and again there's this trying to wage like what the hell do i really want to keep doing this or whatever so i feel the the best thing is 
working, putting your focus on something other than this situation, the best thing for them would be to put their focus on something that they can help grow and build and, you know, work better for them. But whatever you're going to do, if you're in a one-to-one relationship, you've committed yourself to someone, the best thing you could do for yourself right now and heed the words is to handle this with the highest level of integrity. If you've been out, and again, even if you guys have been out, been out and about, just honestly spending time with your fam- your friends, your family, you may find that there's other options out there. There's many other options out there and people are com- coming at you, that sort of thing. Uh, but you've got to handle this with care. If you're committed to someone, you need to stay committed until you make the decision that you no longer want to be in it and then give yourself some time and fully be out of that before you engage in anything else. Because again, trying to tiptoe into something else while you're still in in a committed relationship, again, is going to seal some form of karmic fate for you. And you will have to kind of like sow that at another time. So I would say definitely be careful about making anything that is unethical, make any rash decisions to jump into something that's unethical, even though if you feel in the moment very frustrated by your relationship. Others of you um, that's in a relationship, I don't think that it has anything to do with that. Again, it could be bickering of any kind, any sort that I feel, uh, and it could trying to see i don't think it's around like a money thing i think it's more of like a decision that needs to be made rather than rather than money is what it looks like to me is what it looks like to me okay um and there may be a decision of having to kind of be away from your mate and your family you or your mate have to kind of be away for a while because an opportunity will come that will take them away from home is what it looks like so that's what i have for you guys for the first two weeks of december i hope that this has been helpful if you would like to to um leave a comment section leave in the comment section below how this relates to you please do so uh you know we would love to hear from you And if you would like a personal reading with me, I am providing a two question special. I'm leaving that link in the description box below. If you'd like to uh, find out what's going on, two questions, click that link, make your quick payment. You'll be getting immediate scheduling set up and you will get that done very quickly. Um, You won't have to wait very long. It'll be immediate scheduling and we can get that done if you like something a little different please check the description box below of how you can contact me as well as the beginning and into this video and i can set you something up with that and if you're new to this channel welcome 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 and subscribe because i will be back very soon with another one